welcome again to our Relocator Mentors platform and welcome to our today's session weaving uh, tapestry uh, of soft skills into your classroom with Miss Iman Zain. Miss Iman is an EFL teacher. She's a Relo mentor trainer and post uh, she holds her postgraduate studies in methodology and construction. Uh, she's, uh, she's a master candidate and a teacher trainer as well. Hello, Miss Iman, how are you? Hello, Miss Anan, how are you? I'm fine. How are you today? Hello, everyone. Thank you, Anan, for this great presentation. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, in Real Cairo Mentor Platform. Thank you. Okay, let's start. Yes, please. Yes. Yes, we are going to talk about it with a tapestry of soft skills in classroom, okay? Uh, tapestry, do you know what is the meaning of tapestry? Yes, please write your answer in the chat box. Tapestry? Yes. Dears, what, what, try to guess what is the meaning of tapestry, yes. Write it in the chat box. Try to guess. Come on. Yes. yes, you are falling, yes. Yes. What else? Try to guess. Else? Yes, it's obvious in this picture. Okay. Colorful wall. Colorful wall, maybe. Mr. Basim. Waves, yes, Mr. Ahmed. Yes, weaves, that's good. What else? Textiles, yes. I, that's good. Yes, yes. Asmahan. You are, you are coming closer to the correct answer, yes. yes. That's right. Colorful piece of cloth, yes. Yes, Mr. Abdurrahman is Said. yes, okay. This is the answer, this is a brilliant answer. Colorful wall styles, yes, yes. Okay, thank you for your answers. Yes, tapestry. It yes, uh, tapestry is uh, a colorful piece of clothes or a carpet, and this carpet may be uh, in handmade one, and so it's very attractive uh, because uh, it uh, needs uh, the way the the weaver who uh, can made it. Uh, who can make it uh, will be a creative one. Uh, uh, yes, we, we, we have a tapestry of soft skills in the classroom. Here, we uh, this is a metaphor uh, for the students in your classroom as if it, uh, they are a tapestry. Yes. What the, the, the attractive tapestry needs? What the attractive tapestry needs is to be a beautiful one. It needs... Write your answer in the chat box. What do you think? Yes, yes. as Mahan yes. said, thread, thread, yes. Thread, yes. Colors. Colors, good answer. Connect all the parts together. Yes, Ms. Radwa. Good material, Mr. Ahmad. Yes, okay. Brilliant. Uh, Mr. Abdurrahman, many organized colorful threads, yes. Wide imagination, wow. Variety, skillful person. Variety, skillful mm -hmm. person. Yes. Okay, thank you for your responses. It's up the, to the teacher to pick the various threads and decide how with a tapestry for a particular group of students in his class. Yes, here I mean by the different threads, I mean different activities. So if you want to uh, make a tapestry of a group of students, you should need some of different activities uh, that will enhance some soft skills uh, for your students. Our agenda today is by the end of the session, you will be able to Number one, identify hard skills and soft skills. Define four C's. 
describe the importance of promoting soft skills, talk about some activities to enhance soft skills in the online and offline instruction. Okay, use instructional technology application to develop soft skills. Okay, let's start. Yes, what are the instructional skills? What are the instructional skills in your classroom or in your uh, uh, school? Why students go to school? To learn? Yes, right in the chat box. Try to guess, dears. What are the instructional skills? Okay. Anybody here? Hello. Try to guess. Yes. Yes. The friends uh, to meet their friends to learn. Yes, maybe. Develop their minds. Develop their communicate. minds to communicate. Miss uh, Mr. Bassem, Heba, Miss Heba, participating. Yes. To think it critically. To be. Uh, Sociable and planning to learn through activities. Yes, to encourage them, speak freely. Yes. With and so okay. Mm. Yes, all your answers are right. Okay. They go to school to uh, learn skills, and we categorize the skills into hard skills and soft skills. Let's talk about hard skills or three hours. Hard skill, yes, three hours reading, writing, arithmetic. These are uh, the skills in the past. Uh, students go to school uh, to uh, know these three hours: reading, writing, uh, uh, reading, writing, and arithmetic. Uh, do you agree that these hard skills, three R's, reading, writing, and the arithmetic, are sufficient for 21st century challenges? Are they sufficient? Are they enough for 21st uh, uh, challenges? Some people are saying no, no and no, some others, no, it depends yes. on the lesson and the students. Not, not enough. enough? No, yes, not enough. They have they to... Have Four C's, yes, Mr. Bassem, yes, hard skills also. Yes, yes, thank you very much for your answer. Yes, they aren't enough to uh, face uh, 21st century challenge. Uh, so uh, we uh, should practice some soft skills in our classroom uh, to uh, promote uh, some skills uh, for uh, encounter the 21st century challenges. Let's talk about these soft skills. Okay, what is a beautiful picture of uh, pioneers in our uh, community or pioneers in the world? Uh, the, uh, Einstein, John Kennedy, um, Gandhi, and so on. If you want to do describe those people, you will say, describe these people. Those people, describe them. Describe yeah, describe these people with one word, guys. Yes. Inspirational, able Inspirational. to talk. Yes, yes. It took. outstanding, elite. Outstanding, creative, yes. Genius. Genius. Creative again. Collaborative. Collaborative. Hard workers, famous people, famous motivational, people. phenomenal. Motivational, phenomenal. Pioneers, yes. Famous, communicative, yes. All your answers are correct, yes. These are uh, right answers for all. Thank you very much. Yes, those people are creative one, resourceful one uh, for our uh, community. Do you want your students to be innovative for this society like them? Do you want your students to be uh, famous for this one? Yes, all of us uh, looking forward to uh, seeing uh, their uh, students, uh, creative one, innovator, uh, resourceful uh, and famous and have a great impact for uh, their society. 
It's the magic of soft skills. Yes, it is the magic of soft skills to enhance all these uh, one. Guess what are the four C's? Yes, we will begin with the soft skills, the four C's. The first creativity. C is... Nahad said creativity. Yes, creativity. Yes. Collaboration. Okay. Collaborative. Yes. yes. Communication. That's good. Communication. That's great. Competence. Critical thinking, yes. Good. Yes, yes. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. These are the four C's. The first C is critical thinking, communication, collaboration, and creativity. Let's talk about it one by one for the first C is critical thinking. Yes, what is the importance of teaching four C's? Why uh, do uh, we need to uh, uh, teach four C's in our schools? We need employee, the future employee who can think critically and solve problems, work cooperatively, communicate effectively, and create something new. This is the importance of four C's in our classroom. Let's start for the first critical, for first C is critical thinking. Yes, the definition of critical thinking use various types of reasoning, inductive and deductive as appropriate to the situation. Yes, I choose this term uh, for critical thinking, this definition, because the two words inductive and deductive, why? Do you think why uh, this uh, one uh, is uh, uh, appropriate uh, for the instruction? Robert, for learning, critical thinking has more and more uh, definitions, but uh, this one is uh, uh, suitable for uh, instruction and learning. Why do you think the, the, the expressions inductive and deductive are effective here? Write your thoughts in the chat box, dears. They that had to lead creativity. to creativity, yes. Good yes, job. good job. Yes, inductive and deductive is most uh, appropriate for this uh, definition because the inductive, uh, you can... Uh, 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 know the uh, specifies to the general design. Uh, move from uh, the small details to the whole uh, explanation of uh, the theory or of the terminology. Uh, but uh, deductive, the opposite, uh, you uh, can move from the general design to the specifies or for the details. So uh, th in this definition, we can analyze and evaluate every details and every information. Uh, what is the importance of critical thinking? It develops other skills such as higher level of concentration, deeper analytical abilities, and the improved thought processing. Yes, critical thinking improve the uh, processing uh, of, uh, th of thoughts. Is there a relationship between critical, think th critical thinking and the problem solving? Is there a relationship between them? Between critical what thinking and the problem solving? What do you think, dears? Yes, for sure. Yes. Of course, yes. Of course, yes. That's good. I think the, the art wins. Good expression. Yes. Yes. The, uh, there is a relation between critical thinking and the problem solving. They uh, are considered as uh, two faces of one coin. Two faces of one coin. Critical thinking and problem solving. Yes, 
let's start to uh, know some activities to enhance critical thinking. Okay, activity one, highly demand jobs in your city. Yes. In this activity, there are some advertisement of jobs and titles of jobs. Uh, students are asked to match the uh, match uh, the, this uh, advertisement with the, the title of uh, jobs to each other. And uh, uh, the teacher asks students uh, to be uh, some uh, groups or divided them uh, to uh, some groups. Every group talk about the highly demanded jobs in your city. Uh, your uh, city, uh, in my city, uh, there uh, aren't sufficient doctors. Someone say there aren't enough uh, taxi drivers. Uh, my city lacks nurses, and so on. Or uh, students can make a survey about their parents' uh, uh, jobs. After that, uh, the students are asked to uh, draw a diagram to the highly demanded jobs in, uh, his, uh, in their society. Uh, this activity is relevant to the community. Uh, by these uh, activities, we can uh, think critically about uh, the uh, jobs that are required for our society. Let's move into another activity. Okay. This is an interesting activity for tale. Okay, I will give you two minutes, couple of minutes to read these uh, short stories. And after that, you will uh, talk about the similarities and differences uh, between the crow and the fox. These two stories about the first one, crow and the pitcher, and the second one, fox and grips. After that, we will uh, fill in the Venn diagram in the bottom of the page. So now read these two, uh, two short stories. Excuse me, Ms. Iman. Uh, we have here a question from Radwa. Could you explain the survey? Survey of the, uh, the previous uh, one? Or, or of the... the previous slide, uh, Radwa, right? Yes. Yes, OK. Yes. Uh, survey, here is Ms. Radwa. This survey is about, it. Uh, I ask your students to, uh, they divide the students into some groups. Every group will talk about his uh, parents' job. Yes, my father is a doctor. My mother is a nurse. Uh, uh, this Ahmed's father uh, is an engineer. So, okay, after that, we will make a survey about uh, these uh, jobs of the parents, okay, uh, in the class. Uh, all, all the groups will, uh, con will collect uh, the information about uh, the jobs, and we will make doctors, five doctors, three uh, nurses, uh, ten teachers, and so on. Yes. Yes. Okay, got it? Got it, Mr. Ms. Radwa? Yes, yes. She said many, many things. Yes. Most welcome to you. Okay, most welcome, Ms. Radwa. Okay. okay. Okay, this one, I'll give you one minute to read about the crow and the fox. Okay, do you finish? If you finish, write this in the chat box or write one, you just one. Yes. 
Yes. Yep. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. So what what is their yes. task now? Okay. The crow and the picture. What is the similarity between the two short stories? What is the similarity between them? Write your answer in the chat box. What is the similarity between crow and the fox? Thinking of reaching the goal. Yes, great, Miss Heba. Both have uh, problems. Both have problems, yes. Uh, they both face uh, challenge. challenges. Challenges, yes. Mm -hmm. The crow is creative, is creative, the crow yes. Is creative, yes. Needs. There, there is, is a, a conflict. conflict. Both by t are trying to reach for something. Something, yes. Both have a moral idea. Yes. Okay, Miss Dina. There is a, tr a trouble for them. Yes, Miss Dina. There is a problem for them. The way of thinking is different. Yes, this is the difference. Okay, uh, uh, let's uh, write about uh, our ideas about the differences between them. If there is the same. Are there the same? The crow is and there the anything? The same? Yeah. Do you think there is uh, anything common between them? Try to think. What is common between them? Yes, uh, they said the common. Miss uh, excuse me. The, now sorry, um, me, they talk about the difference. So, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. Yes. Just to mention the differences. Yes. Yes. Sorry. Thinking only different. They both uh, thought in a different way. Yes, one uh, one achieved the goal, another, another uh, no. Oh, yes. Okay. Mr. Abdul Rahman, the crowd tried critical thinking and find a solution to this problem. Great one, Mr. Abdul Rahman. Crow is creative and has motivation. The folks lacks motivation. Yes. Yes. Same feelings. The crow reached his goal. The crow is uh, 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 re silent while the fox is uh, given up easily. Yes. Yes, all your answers are great. One, let's. Okay, this is Venn diagram between fox and crow. Yes. Uh, uh, try to ask your students to, to uh, uh, draw this Venn diagram if you have uh, the same uh, 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 stories or uh, two stories over uh, two uh, uh, situation. And there is differences and uh, similarities between these two stories or these two persons. Uh, because it enhances the critical thinking. Let's show the answer. Okay. The same between them is trial. And they are different in the fox is hungry and the crow is thirsty. Fox fail, but the crow succeed. The fox feels disappear, but the crow feel insistence. Okay, thank you for your responses. And now let's talk about another activity to promote uh, critical thinking debates. What an interesting activity that I like it so much. Debates. Debates enhance the skill of enhance skill of enhance what? What is skill? What is skill that debates enhance it? Mr. Yasser said that these stories could be useful for a warm up. Yes, Mr. Yasser. Okay. Uh, debates enhance thinking skill. Yes, thinking skills. Yes, what else? For the four skills. Enhance uh, uh, think differently, Ms. Radwa, okay. Guessing, yes. Okay, enhance speaking skill. Uh, and uh, it hands uh, and uh, that you uh, thinking differently and the anal uh, analytical uh, thinking. Okay, uh, use uh, such a metaphor of uh, this topic. Internet is like a fire. 
may be helpful and useful. May be helpful to cook or to work. Perhaps it's dangerous to burn everything. Use this kind of metaphor to uh, uh, present an amazing or an impressive uh, topic. Surprisingly, you will find uh, your uh, class divided into two groups. The first group is supporter for the internet uh, that is, uh, be, uh, that is uh, helpful and useful. And another one is opposer uh, uh, the, uh, that is uh, that uh, internet is dangerous to burn everything. Some of them talk about the pros and another one talk about the cons of the internet. Okay, let's talk about another C. Yes, the second C is communication. Yes, why uh, do you think that communication is very important in our life? Why communication is very significant in our life? Write your thoughts in the chat box, dears. What are we doing now? <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. Exchanging of data, yes. For sociable matters, we can, we can explore, explore our, our feelings, feelings through, through communication. communication. Yes. Participate, yes. Without it, none of our goals will be achieved. Mr. Yasser, thank you. Mr. Muhammad, social interaction. I mean to information, discussing problems. Speak confidently, support, uh, sharing ideas, yes, generate ideas. Okay, 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 yes. Thank you for all your answers are great. Communication is important because we can express our ideas, inform, instruct, motivate, and persuade by communication. But there are two meanings of communication. Communication to express our words, uh, by discussion or uh, whatever, and communication using digital tools. Firstly, we talk about the discussion and we talk about uh, some uh, activities to enhance discussion. After that, we talk about some activities to enhance using digital tools. First one, we talk about discussion. Yes, communication, communicate effectively in diverse environments, including multilingual and multicultural people. This is the first one, discussion. Okay, let's look at this uh, picture of these uh, children. Inside and outside circle. Inside circle and outside circle. There are two circles and every student Talk about his partner face to face. The teacher posed uh, an, uh, a question related to, excuse me, related to uh, the, res the lesson, uh, and the two students talk together uh, with each other about this uh, topic, uh, uh, such as uh, uh, what, uh, what did you do yesterday? Yes. Uh, if you uh, explain the past symbol, uh, what did you do uh, in the uh, uh, weekend, and so on. Any question uh, that this is, uh, the teacher asked for students. Every minute, student clap, one clap, and the student, everyone, uh, uh, is the inner circuit, the, in, the, uh, the uh, inside circle, will rotate one step. One step only. So the uh, student will uh, uh, change his partner. He took about, he took with another partner. He took uh, with another partner. Uh, teacher can use it for three times. If the teacher use it for three times, so every student will, will talk with how many partner he will talk with him. Okay, write your answer in the chat box. Okay, or I explain uh, this activity again. Yes, if the teacher 
clap for them, they rotate three times. Every student will talk with how many partners? Three, yes, Miss Marwa. Yes, Miss Nadia, thank you very much. Thank you. You are brilliant, Miss Marwa. Ms. Yes, Mr. Bassem, I have practiced both activities in my workshops. Yes, Miss Dina, three. Yes, it's very effective and it will enhance the discussion. Okay, let's talk about the jigsaw. Do you know uh, jigsaw? Yes, if you, uh, uh, your, uh, your lesson today is about colors. Name your students with colors. Ahmad is red, Ali is green, Muhammad is blue, Abdul Rahman is yellow. Okay, uh, after that here, hi guys, the red boys come here, the green boys come here, the yellow boys come here, yes? And they make some groups. Oh, of this color, the color, this is color is named red, this is color named blue, and so on. And distribute your uh, tasks for them to share it, uh, and they can uh, complete uh, their uh, uh, homework in uh, their uh, homes, and they share their experience or they share uh, their ideas uh, on the Zoom uh, meeting or on WhatsApp group. Okay, let's talk about the digital tools. This is a video about a, a child or a student and this child has a problem. Okay, after finishing the video, I will ask you what is the problem uh, of uh, this uh, child and how this problem is solved. Okay, let's watch the video. Is it clear, Miss Anna? Yes, it's clear. Okay. Yes, Miss Iman? Yes, I'm here. Sorry. I drank oh. some water. <laughs> okay. Yes, okay. Yes. Yes, what is the problem of this uh, student? What is the problem? Write your thoughts in the chat, in the chat box, dears. Math, homework, yes, Mr. Omar. Yes. Yes, his homework, yes. He forget his homework, yes, it's a specific, okay. Ms. Radwa, how to do math? Homework, yes, homework, okay, Miss Asma, homework, okay, uh, not motivated to do his homework, yes, Mr. Yasser, 
lack of con concentration. The problem is that he is so busy using computer and playing games, so he forget his homework. Okay, excellent, Mr. Abdul Rahman. Miss Fatma, no concentration. Miss Samar didn't find. Yes, his uh, uh, problem was he can't remember what is the uh, homework today. Every day he forget his homework and he can't write it or do it. So, uh, if this problem uh, is uh, solved, yes, this problem is solved by the application of. Yes, what application is used in this video uh, to, re to solve this problem? Yes, Google Classroom, Google Classroom, Miss Amani, hello. Yes, Mr. Omar, Google Classroom, Miss Marwa, yes, Mr. Summer, Miss Summer, sorry, <laughs> Miss Rania, yes. Yes, Mr. Uh, yes. Sir. Most of them said yes, yes. Classroom. Yes. classroom. Okay, we can uh, solve some problems uh, of uh, our uh, class management, such as this problem by some applications. Okay, let's start to know this application which is used in our classroom. The first one, encourage your students to interview with the pioneers in our community. Try to interview uh, IT manager or uh, university researcher uh, to explain uh, for your students how to make a video or how to make a digital gallery uh, to present their achievements uh, in their uh, social media or in uh, YouTube channel. Some digital tools are very important for your class, such as this one, Class Blog or Class Blogger, uh, WordPress. WordPress, this is the first one, Class Blog and Class Wiki, uh, is very important for writing skill. But there is a difference between the Class Blog and the Class Wiki. Uh, do you know the difference between Class Blog and the Class Wiki? If someone know, so please write your answer in the chat box. Have have you have you ever used any of them, guys? Have you used used the uh, class blog or class wiki? No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. No, no, never. Okay, okay. I will explain it. So I will explain it. Class blog, the teacher recommend the topic, uh, any topic, uh, a journey uh, to uh, the, the zoo, uh, write about pollution, write about the four seas, write about soft skills, any topic uh, that the teacher want uh, students to cover. Then uh, this class blog is a website uh, in your uh, mobile or uh, in the internet for your lab or your mobile. Every student write a comment, one comment for this topic. So uh, if I have 30 pupils in, this, in the class or uh, 30 students, uh, I will have 30 comments for this topic uh, in, your, in, uh, in the mobile. Uh, this is a kind of assessment for writing skill. This is for class blog. So class blog, it's individual, it's individual activity. Everyone took about his idea and express about himself. Only one comment. Okay, what about class wiki? Class wiki, it's a cooperative uh, assessment or a cooperative one. It's also a website uh, on the internet, but the, the, the teacher uh, uh, recommend a topic and they add for each other. Yes, Ahmad write the introduction. Muhammad write the body. Ali write uh, uh, another paragraph of the body. Uh, Abdul Rahman uh, write uh, uh, the conclusion and so on. So uh, uh, some students or a group of students can uh, participate in one article. 
in one article, class blog individually, but class wiki is cooperatively, or a, a one article for groups. Okay, got it? Got it, guys? Is it clear for you, dears? Clear? Yes, Ms. Radwa? Yes. Thank you, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, let's use this uh, uh, this online website. It's uh, very clear and it's very easy to use. Badlet. Badlet uh, is a, a website for uh, make poster. How to make a poster uh, and add for this poster uh, text, uh, maybe video, music, and so on. Uh, so. Uh, uh, if you want to take a screenshot for this uh, slide, it's uh, it's very important for your online sessions. Digital yeah. tools, class blog, and the class wiki, and the Padlet. Take a screenshot for these uh, uh, websites. Okay. Let's we can move. send them. We can send them via email. Okay, as well, so please, so please, Anand, yeah. uh, send it them. Okay. Yeah. Yes, the third C is collaboration. And here there is a common question. Uh, what is the difference between cooperation and collaboration? What is the difference between them? Okay, if you want to answer. Yes, Mr. Atif. Badlet is amazing, yes, okay. Okay, what is the difference between cooperation and the collaboration? If you look at the two pictures, uh, you will know the difference between them. Try to guess in the chat box, dears. Yes, Miss Marina, cooperation working with a group, okay. Miss Myrna, uh, who else? Cooperation in one time, the same team. Yes, to the same team, Miss Amani. Okay, Miss Asma, collaborative work with different groups. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys, uh, if you look at the two pictures, the uh, 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 first one for collaboration and the second one for cooperation. Uh, cooperation, uh, you can work with one team. One team and there are some members of the team, but collaboration, different teams. And every team has a target, but they have mutual benefits between these teams. Okay, such as uh, the core. Uh, there is a, a company for uh, tire, there is a company for engine, there is a company for doors and so on. And they gather all their products to make the core. Yes, this is uh, the meaning of collaboration. Collaboration means it is the ability to work effectively and respectfully with diverse teams, with different teams. Every team has a target, but there are mutual benefits between all these teams. Okay? Activities to develop collaboration. First one, the tour in our school. Yes, uh, in this one, students uh, uh, try to make a video uh, to inform the new visitors about their school. How can the students use the, uh, tor the language target and the vocabulary they use in English uh, session uh, uh, for making this video? You can, uh, as a teacher, uh, divide your class into some groups. The first group uh, will collect some photos about uh, the uh, school. Uh, the second one uh, uh, writes the script. Uh, another one present and share this video in the social media. Uh, this uh, video 
is uh, important uh, to uh, uh, know more and more about uh, their school uh, for the new visitors or for parents or for VIB uh, persons, okay? Uh, and this uh, website, epal.com, will help you to uh, 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 carry out uh, this uh, video. Number two, current issued. Talk about current event issue or uh, some uh, social problems such as uh, pollution, uh, uh, energy, uh, water, and uh, gives the students a chance to give you some solution for this issue. Uh, they uh, work uh, uh, as in groups uh, to uh, uh, search for solutions for this issue. Okay, number three, the projects. Yes, projects-based learning is very important uh, nowadays, and uh, there are some projects are published uh, by the Ministry of uh, Education, and the students are asked uh, to accomplish this uh, project. Uh, this uh, website is very important. Uh, www.learn.org is very important for project task based. Why? Because it presents some projects, some new projects, and how the students can uh, apply with this project, and for the teacher, how can you assess these projects? What are the criteria? Is a criteria to assess this project and evaluate this project, and it's very very important for uh, our future learning uh, to assess uh, the projects that the students uh, can uh, achieve it or uh, carry out it, okay? Yes, let's talk about the creativity, creativity and the innovation, okay? What do you think about creativity? Hello? Yes, write your thoughts in the chat box, dears. Creativity is thinking out of the box, yes, thinking out of the box. Trying to make things in a new way, yes. Doing something new, yes, Miss uh, Radwa. Miss Asme, thinking unexpectedly, yes. Non-traditional ideas, imagination. Thinking of different ways, new ideas. To do something new, use your imagination. Develop tradition, yes. Imagination, Miss Marwa. Yes, all your responses and all your answers are excellent. Okay, creativity, uh, thinking out of the box and try to present uh, something new. Uh, creativity is the bus, uh, is a taxi key or a car key for the innovation for 21st uh, uh, challenges. The successful, the successful person who can uh, uh, create uh, something new. Uh, by this way, we talk about some activities in our class to, to uh, enhance uh, creativity. The first one, Poem. Ask your students to uh, write or to create uh, a simple poem. Look at this one. Yes, it's uh, about Gazichant. It's about the past uh, form or the past simple tense. I do, I do last night I did. I hide last week I had. I get last month I good. I forget, but I forgot. Yes, this is about the irregular verbs. They can do, or they can write more and more about the second form of verbs in this, in, in this way. But you will give him the key. 
uh, you will uh, 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 guide the, the student uh, to write uh, the poem and he will write more and more about all the words or adjectives that he can uh, study it. Okay, look at this one, busy day. I run, I ride, I read, I write, I pick, I ball, I fly my kite. Yes, it's also very exciting. Uh, and you have uh, some talented students and they have the musical uh, intelligence and they can write a lot of poem. Yes, what about short stories? Short stories. Also, some students have verbal intelligence uh, and they can, they are talented in writing short stories, especially uh, science fiction short stories. Encourages the students to write these short stories and try uh, uh, to reward these students by uh, badge, avatar, prize, or whatever. Okay, the next, the last one, Decades Wall Short Project. Yes, this is a wall short uh, project. Uh, encourage students to uh, make uh, a wall short by uh, some uh, simple material uh, of the trends of the last century, 20th century trends, or the famous event that occurred in the last century to know more and more about uh, their history uh, and hang this uh, wall short in an outstanding uh, place in the class. Okay. Okay, hello? Yes, we are following, yes. Yes. Sketch or a play? Yes, a sketch is a very small play from three or four scenes. Uh, and this one is A to Z sketch or A to Z play. In this uh, activity, student uh, will uh, uh, act the play about polling or about social problem in uh, their school. Uh, encourage your students to uh, 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 reduce this play or create this play in groups. The first team write the script. The second team act this, uh, this play. The third one play the music. The fourth one direct the play and evaluate. So this uh, sketch from A to Z by the students and it is produced by uh, the students. Uh, research. Research, uh, ask your students to make some uh, scientific researches, and this is for the teenagers, uh, about energy project, and the students investigate uh, some uh, solutions for the renewable energy or uh, to uh, uh, search for uh, a, a new uh, objects for some problems that we encounter in our world. Uh, solar power, uh, uh, nuclear uh, station, and so on. Okay, these are four C's, critical thinking, collaboration, creativity, and the communication. In your opinion, guess what? what is the C number five? Okay, what is the fifth C? that related to the four C's. What do you think, dears? Try to guess. What is the fifth C? Okay. Come on. We, ha we mentioned creativity, collaboration. Challenge. Critical thinking. Maybe. Maybe, but it's not C, it's a ch. <laughs> ah, yes. Yes. <laughs> Try to think. Coconut, I hope. Coconut, yes. Creativity, <laughs> uh, we mentioned it before. Creativity. Mm -hmm. Come on. Okay. It's C, but it's pronounced the K. Cooperation. Yes, we mentioned it. Connection. 
ये इसमें भी the second letters ये C O compare concentration of every C we will have in order to be comparison clear up comparison clear up convince tell them yes okay conclusion yes yes thank you for your trials yes yes this is the fifth c is community okay we do all these activities to enhance four c's for the fifth c we are from the community we are uh, and all these activities and all you uh, our students will be graduated to serve our community yes so this four c is related to our community Okay, let's move into another soft skill. Yes, it's empathy. Empathy is seeing with the eyes of another, listening with the ears of another, feeling with the heart of another. Yes, you put yourself in another one place or another one choose. You understand from his perspective, not from your perspective okay and you try to help him this is the meaning of empathy how can I foster empathy in my classroom by some activities let's uh, let's to, uh, look at this one teach empathy by practicing empathy if you are empathic teacher uh, your students will be an empathic one. How? Uh, I will be an empathic teacher from my facial expression, from my body language, from my eye contact, and keep my smile on my face. Keep my smile on my face. The second point, name their emotion. Encourage your students or motivate them to describe their emotion. Talk about themselves. Yes, I'm angry. I'm frustrated. He is confused. She is embarrassed. Uh, 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 and the, uh, the third point, try to ask them about the uh, book characters. Uh, what do you think about Sukkar in this situation? Is he angry? Uh, what, do you think, uh, what do you think about Hannah in this situation? Is she confused? This is the characters of book in uh, primary school. Okay, some situation as a puzzle. Look at this puzzle. Here is the adjective and the situation and the solution of this situation. And our student will match three puzzle with each other. The adjective, the uh, situation, and uh, the uh, solution for this situation. Okay, let's... Uh, Read one, one example. Uh, the first one, angry. Lin's sister, brother. Lin's sister broke her favorite game. Okay, what would you do for her to help her? Yes, you could help her to fix the game. You could help her to fix the game. Why Lin is angry? Because her sister broke it and uh, uh, her, her uh, toy is broken, uh, and you could help her to fix this game, okay? Let's uh, talk about the first, the second one. Confused. Why did, Ma why Max is angry, or why Max is confused? Because Max didn't understand the homework, okay? What could you do for Max? You could explain the homework to him, and so on. All this activity or all these adjectives is about some situations, and your students uh, are required to match them. Ask them what could you do in this situation, or if you are in this place, how can you help the person? This is about empathy, okay? What about literature? 
Promote empathy in literature. Yes. Do you know this uh, novel? Hamlet. Hamlet by Shakespeare. Put yourself in Hamlet's place or in his shoes. How can you deal with this situation? You know the uh, critical situation for Hamlet's novel. Novel to be or not to be, that is the question. Uh, and Hamlet uh, was a hesitate uh, person. Uh, he uh, is hesitate to kill his uh, uncle and his mother or forgive him. In this situation, ask your students about this critical situation. Uh, put yourself in Hamlet's place and what could you do for this one? Or ask students uh, 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 if uh, you uh, want to act uh, a character in Hamlet's uh, play. What character do you prefer? What character do you prefer and why? Uh, uh, such uh, this activity promote empathy uh, and uh, make your students think critically about the characters and about uh, the issue in his society. Okay. Time management. Do you agree that time management is very important for the class management? Do you agree that time management is very important uh, point for class man management, sure, of course. Sure, of course. Of course. Yes, time management is very important for class point in uh, Class nightmare of every teacher. Every teacher say there is no time. The period is not enough. The session is not uh, sufficient for all these activities. Okay, let's see how can you save your time in your classroom. What is said by Harry Wong? The problem number one in the classic of procedure routine is time management refers to use time effectively and productively to make the best use of every minute. Make the best use of every minute. Do a lot of things in little time. How? How can I do a lot of things or a lot of activities? in little time, okay? Give uh, your answer. Yes, it's our big challenge. Yes, Mr. Ahmed. It's hard to handle time, definitely, yes. Okay. How can I solve this problem of time management? Yes, right. Dividing time, Seba, thank you. By organization, Ms. Radwa. By planning well. Very good, Mr. Ahmed. Mr. Adam, trying to timing every activity, yes. Limit the activity. Okay, Ms. Radwa, Ibrahim, thank you. Dividing tasks, Ms. Dina. Thank you. Yes, okay. Let's know how can we... Number one, clear procedure. Clear procedure. At the beginning of the school year, uh, 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 explain for the, uh, the, uh, your students uh, where uh, they can do their activities, where is the, where is the uh, uh, homework or the assignment of every unit, where is the explanation lessons of the grammar, where is it in the book. Uh, 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 agree with him uh, uh, that uh, when you take the attendance, what shall they do uh, during you take uh, their attendance? 
try to uh, uh, definite time or definite day for the O level, ordinary level. Uh, it's a definite day for the novel, definite day for their quiz or their uh, dictation, and so on. Uh, and the most important also is the transition between activity and another activity. When you, uh, uh, when you uh, transit from one activity to another one, use some callbacks, such as time is over, one, two, three, I is with me, okay? In this, by this way, student will put the pen and try to pay attention with you again. Or say for them, classy, classy, yassy, yassy, and so on. Most important also resource sharing for an online session, okay? Let's look at this. Uh, let's look at uh, this uh, uh, websites, Google Classroom, Google Drive, Blogger, Kahoot, Quizzes. What are these? This is website. If you are a teacher and you have an online session, uh, and this is the required, this is the required uh, application or required website, ask your students to do bookmark for this in their mobile or in this laptop. Why? to reduce time consuming. Because if you uh, uh, don't ask them to, to do bookmark or put them in an outstanding place in their mobile or in this laptop, you are every, you are waiting a lot of time to search for all this website in every session. So, uh, the students are asked to do bookmark for Google Classroom or Google Drive, Blogger, Kahoot, Quizzes, and uh, as you want, or uh, all websites uh, do you need for your session. Okay, got it? Yes, it's a very good idea, Ms. Radwa. Okay, got it, or I explain it again. Nice, yes, Miss Dina. Yes, yes, Miss Rania, it's clear. Okay, okay, you are most welcome, Miss Rado. Yes, Miss Asma, awesome. Okay, okay, good idea. Yes, okay, got it. Let's move into the leadership. Okay, leadership. Leadership in a simply meaning, it's uh, the one who can uh, guide some people or direct some people. In our class, when you enhance leadership, uh, the student uh, who is a leader who will guide his student, uh, sorry, guide his colleagues. Uh, this is some activities to uh, promoting uh, leadership. Uh, let's talk about the first one, Desert Island. Desert Island. Divide your uh, class into some groups. Every, glo every group has a one leader. And ask this leader if you move into or travel to Desert Island. Choose only five items choose only five items that uh, you can use to be to uh, survive in this island and think with your colleagues how can you uh, move a lot of food and uh, a lot of uh, water that will be sufficient for one week okay in this activity students think critically uh, about uh, the object that he uh, have to take uh, with the, with them uh, and think more and more uh, about how they save his life and save his colleagues also how he save uh, the leader's life and how he save uh, uh, the uh, colleagues uh, life okay Another one is contribution for your organization. In this one, 
uh, I will ask my students, yes, you are a ministry of, ministry of health, ministry of education, ministry uh, of, uh, uh, ministry uh, of agriculture, and so on. What could you do or what could you, uh, what uh, could you suggest for uh, your organization uh, to enhance this one? Uh, and what would you do for your colleagues? Uh, this such activity give the students to think analytical uh, and critically about and the creativity also uh, about uh, what's his contribution, what's his suggestions to enhance uh, uh, this association. Uh, this activity is more suitable for uh, the teenager uh, students. Okay. Passion projects, passion projects. Yes, I always really impressed uh, when uh, I uh, see or when I talk about uh, the uh, projects that are connected to uh, bettering the community or how to uh, enhance the community. Some people do their best uh, for uh, the poor people and for the needy people. So encourage your students to be a leader for this uh, patient projects. Uh, and the teenagers uh, student will be as a mentor for uh, the young learner or do as a coach for them uh, in this uh, journey. Uh, so set off a journey to 57357 hospital and so on or any hospital or uh, any charitable uh, organization to help needy people uh, choose some uh, leaders uh, of the teenager students to uh, be as a coach or as a mentor for these uh, journeys. Okay. Let's move into the last one, citizenship, okay? All of us are citizen, but being a citizen is not automatically being a citizen, uh, being a good citizen, okay? So what are the characteristics of good citizen? Okay, so please write your answer in the chat box. What are, the the what are the characteristics? Loyal, accept others. Yes, Ms. Dina, Mr. Basim. What are the characteristics of good citizen? Helpful, respect. Yes, Mr. Dantes. Yes, Mr. Dantes, I hope I pronounced it correct. If it's not correct, I'm sorry. Respect, to be cooperate. Love his country, working well, yes. Honest, has a free will and defend the right of others regardless of the identity, yes. Respect, respect any opinions, knowing rules, yes. Has good manners, Ms. Ms. Uh, Mr. Atif, thank you, knowing rules. Is Mariam, respect to any opinions? Is Mr. Atif, neighboring? Okay, is Asma, one uh, of the community? Well educated, loyal and love his nationality? Is Asma, one of the community is? Mr. Ahmed, loyal and love his nationality? Uh, Ms. Asma, uh, responsible, yes, take his rights and respect others, Ms. Nadia. Yes, thank you very much for your answers or great answers. Yes, look at uh, this uh, picture of uh, a tree. It's an apple tree. Uh, every lesson that have a value of citizenship, uh, 
uh, the, uh, like uh, the characteristics that you are mentioned, respect, uh, honesty, uh, loyalty, uh, uh, cooperation, hard work, uh, and so on more and more, oh, and well educated uh, to uh, be a good citizen. Every value of them, we can write it on a flower or write it on an apple and uh, make this uh, tree. And this tree is uh, uh, its name, good citizen. Good citizen. You can write all these characters in one tree or uh, uh, such as it's such as this uh, apples or uh, flowers. Yes, a flower of responsibility, a flower of loyalty, a flower of respect. Why? Because it's very, it's, it's very vital for uh, the elementary students to grow uh, as a good citizen. Uh, from the primary or from the KG, uh, you should enhance this uh, uh, value of uh, citizenship. Okay? Another activities to uh, promote citizenship, ways to promote good citizenship, Reading some recommended passage about citizenship. Uh, reading uh, some uh, stories. Uh, writing and drawing about citizenship. Again, ask your students about is uh, Sukkara or is Mona here in this situation or in this picture is a good citizenship by this way or by this behavior. Is he a good citizenship? Uh, when she uh, uh, clean uh, clean up uh, uh, the mess in her classroom, or uh, uh, it conserve uh, energy, or and so on. When she respect uh, uh, her uh, her uh, teacher, uh, is there uh, is is he a good citizen? Is uh, is she a good citizen? Yes. By this way, you can develop the. Uh, expression of uh, good citizenship. Discuss how different book characters display a good citizen. Yes, global citizenship. Uh, how can we enhance global citizenship? We enhance it by some dialogues, some conversations, some uh, comprehension passage and translation passage. Give them some concepts about the global citizenship, uh, such as identity, belonging, uh, human rights, uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, and so on. Uh, our duties and our responsibilities, our borders. Uh, this is for uh, global citizenship. Okay. Yes, it's our criteria. Bloom's taxonomy. If all of these activities that we are mentioned are accomplished or carried out in our in in our classroom where we will be or where our students will be in this pyramid or in the plumes taxonomy. Okay, so please write your answer in the chat box. If all these activities are integrated in our classroom and all these soft skills, we can enhance it in our soft skills. We will be in, yes, We will be in the HOTS, Miss Radwa. Thank you. HOTS, Miss Asma. Okay. If all these activities are uh, uh, achieved in your classroom, we reach to the HOTS. Yes, we will reach to the HOTS. Uh, HOTS is higher order thinking of uh, this pyramid, we mean that analyzing, evaluating, creating. Yes, we will hear at the top of the pyramid in creating one. Help your students to think critically and empower by communication and collaboration, empathy, and inspire leadership and citizenship. Okay, to wrap up, 
Yes, we talk about it, the soft skills. But uh, I ask you to write one activity for all these activities that you remember it. Yes, write one activity for critical thinking. One activity. Yes, as you uh, uh, remember. Or survey, Miss Radwa, okay? Survey, yes, okay. Write one activity of communication. Debate, Miss Radwa, thank you. This is for critical thinking, okay? Write one activity of communication. Write one word. Questionnaire, Mr. Ratif. Yes, this is for critical thinking. Groups, yes. We divide our students into groups and communication, okay? Yes, Ms. Heba. Okay. Discussion and using digital tools, okay? Yes, here is creativity. Project, Ms. Radwa, thank you. Yes, collaboration, problem dictation. Realia poem, yes, 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 poem for creativity. Miss Nadia Nasif, thank you very much. Okay, and this activity to enhance your, uh, your memory, your memory, by the way. Yes, what about with this one? Empathy. In the desert for leader, yes, Miss, Mr. Adam, uh, remember for the leadership, yes, Mr. Adam. Uh, Hamlet, Miss Radwa, okay. Mariam said uh, leadership in the classroom. Yes, problems dictation. Role playing, yes, thank you. Yes, time management. Okay, leadership, Mr. Adam said, uh, in the desert, island desert. Okay, and the last one, citizenship. Okay, if we all integrated all soft skills, we will achieve all these uh, 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 soft skills in our uh, school, uh, in our classroom, we will integrate uh, these soft skills and we will uh, uh, reach to the good citizenship and this is our target. This is our target, uh, good citizenship or global citizenship to face the 21st century uh, challenges and to uh, be as a competent uh, person for uh, the uh, uh, world. Yes, that's okay. great. Conclusion, teacher must have the support to teach, teach the soft skills every day. It's the right of every student to be adequately prepared for the future challenges. Soft skills are significant for the upcoming jobs in the future, definitely. Creative teacher prepares creative students, so be creative one to your students will be creative as well. Yes, yes by the end of this session, Okay, question and answers. Yes, dears, if they have any questions, if you have any, write it in the chat box. Thank you so much, Iman, for this amazing session. Thank you so for your effort. Thank you, Anand. Thank you for all you uh, present you. for this platform. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Radua. Most you welcome, dear. Welcome. Most welcome, Ms. Radwa. Okay, uh, so please, Anand, could you uh, share uh, 
uh, the blogger and the class wiki? Yeah, for sure. I'm going to share it uh, via email in 24 oh, yeah, hours, email? inshallah. Okay, yes. okay. The sources will, uh, you will yes, deliver. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Great session. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Dina. Thank you, Ms. Radwa. Could you? Yes, yes, all yes, references Ms. are Ms. going to be sent via email or via WhatsApp okay, group or, Facebook or Telegram group, guys. Okay. okay. Join, join us in our Relo Cairo Mentors platform on Telegram channel, okay, to get uh, the, the latest updates, okay? Here are the links. We sent it now. Join all our groups and like our page okay, and you, follow the YouTube channel. Yes, and so on. Yes. Thank you so much, Miss Iman. Thank you for you, all our attendees today. Yes, thank you. Stay tuned. Yes. Stay tuned, dears, for Friday's session, inshallah. We, we will announce it on our uh, Facebook page, okay? Just follow it, Three Locairo Mentors platform, and stay tuned for the next step. And don't hesitate to invite all your colleagues and all teachers and educators, yes, yes, to join us. Most welcome, dears. Okay. okay, thank you very much. Thank you all attendees. See you soon. Thank you, Anand, thank you. so much. Most okay. welcome, dears. Thank you. See Goodbye. you soon. Goodbye. Bye-bye.